There's always been the thought that ran in my head, if the big one ever hit New Orleans, it would be devastating. And I've always said that no story was worth my life. And if it ever happened, I wasn't going to stick around. However, it did happen. And I stayed. It would be the biggest news story that I would ever have to cover. Ever to endure. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a test. There's a major hurricane that is in the Gulf of Mexico. After 14 straight hours of live remotes informing the public to leave town, my news station called me and said that they themselves were shutting down and evacuating, and that I was on my own. The reality of it all just hit me hard at that very moment. On the day succeeding Hurricane Katrina, there would be many stories that could be covered every day. Since we were free to somewhat find a story of our choice, each story that we would cover would be surreal, to say the least. And the stories would be vast, but the most intriguing part of it all wouldn't be what we covered as far as devastation. It wouldn't be the doomsday tag that the world put on our town, on us. But it was merely how everyone just looked out for one another. From the armed neighborhood watchers of the communities to the folks in our own news department, it was truly a humbling experience. Since our TV station was mostly destroyed, we worked out of trailers in the parking lot of the New Orleans Arena, overlooking the partially destroyed Superdome. We wrote and edited our stories in not so comfortable surroundings. Since we had no studio to broadcast from, each day we reported to our viewers from a different neighborhood via live remote. Each location would seem more devastated than the next. Half our staff fled prior to the storm. Many never returned. For those of us who remained, we endured through the trials and tribulations. Some lost their homes, others dealt with other storm-related stress. Nonetheless, each day we would get up, come to work, and check our personal issues at the door. And I believe because of this, it made us into a stronger unit, forming a permanent bond. We laughed, we sweat, and sometimes cried together. But in the end, we all knew that somewhere through the devastation, the horrible devastation, through the national news coverage, through it all, that we wouldn't be defeated, and that someday we would come back, finish strong. Who knows, maybe even win a Super Bowl championship. Who knew?